I'm Michelle from Cup of Zest, and today we're going to make baked eggs in tomato cups. This retro recipe is healthy, easy, and perfect for Mother's Day brunch. Today's recipe comes from this mega vintage cookbook. It's Gourmet's Menu Cookbook, and it was published in 1963. It's packed with lots of fancy recipes, and I can't wait to make today's recipe with you. All right, so to start, we're going to slice off the top of our tomatoes, our beautiful vine-ripened tomatoes. And we're just gonna go ahead and scoop out the insides to make cute little tomato cups. There we go. You just wanna get all the seeds and the pulp out. This is one of the easiest vintage recipes I've ever come across. And it's fantastic for Mother's Day brunch because, you know, mom can sleep in while the kids help out in the kitchen. Oops. All right, we're just gonna salt and pepper these. Just a little salt. The inside, season them up. A little fresh ground pepper, it's my favorite, you know that. And now let's add some eggs to our tomato cups. These guys are gonna go into the oven at 425 degrees until the whites are just about set, which will take about 20 minutes. While our tomatoes bake, let's talk about brunch. Brunch became popular in the United States during the 1930s thanks to Hollywood stars. They would travel coast to coast via train and would sometimes stop in Chicago for a late morning meal. Since then, brunch has become our favorite weekend meal, almost always served with a cocktail. So our whites are about set, and we're just gonna grate a little Parmesan on top and throw them back in the oven until the eggs are fully cooked. Look at these beauties. Let's just go ahead and top them off with a little smoked paprika. It's just gonna add a little boost of flavor. And just some chives for a little pop of color. Oh, they're so cute. They're gonna be so good. So our eggs are nice and set. Our cheese is a little melty. I just can't wait to take a bite. All right, let's dig in. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Just gonna get a nice little perfect bite, get a little, put a little yolk in there, a little tomato, and just like eat it up. Oh, there we go. This is really yummy. It's simple, it's elegant, it's perfect for Mother's Day brunch. Subscribe below for more retro recipes and let me know what mom thinks. Happy Mother's Day.